the equine story of the early 1960s with that of Carrie Back and owner Jack Price. That's next, right here on Talier's Thoroughbred Racing Review for the best of horse racing history on YouTube. Carrie Back, the result of obscure mating and a $700 investment, was the working man's hero. He began his three-year-old season rattling off wins in the Everglades Stakes and the Flamingo Stakes. But it was now time to face a soon-to-be rival Cozier at Gulfstream's 1961 Florida Derby. A win here and he's on his way to Kentucky. Florida Derby Day, the most exciting day in racing. For today, a new racing champion will be born to join these great champions of the past. In 1961, Carryback started his bid for the national championship. As they broke, it was Oak Dandy and Intensive, the two horses battling for the lead as Carryback was far afield. Carryback moved up slowly as did Crozier. Now it's Intensive with Oak Dandy as they make the turn. Now as they came into the stretch, it was still Oak Dandy, but Crozier started to move up. It was now Crozier taking the lead with Carryback on the far outside, carry back now, whipping and driving, carry back under the whip, coming on strong. It's carry back moving up to Crozier, but carry back finding it hard going in the mud. It's Crozier still leading by a length and a half as carry back ranges up on the outside to meet him. It's carry back with Crozier. Crozier still leading, and here comes carry back. Carry back moves up the two horses head and head across the wire. It's carry back, the winner by a half. This great Florida bred went on to win the Kentucky Derby, the Freakness, and the national title. No wonder they call this the preview of three-year-old champion. For the best in historic horse racing action is Thoroughbred Racing Review. Subscribe on YouTube and read the rest of the story on Facebook. Subscribe now.